Meet SS December 2025. One day before the exam, what am I supposed to do? The most important is a day before the exam, kindly go to bed at 9 o'clock. That is very, 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 very important. Minimum of 8 to 10 hours of adequate rest and sleep is a must for the brain to work appropriate to get the right answer for a national level competitive exam like a need SS. So that more than 25,000 students appear for this exam. For your specialty, minimum of almost three to 5,000 students can appear so that you need to have a real competitive spirit. For that, you need to have a very, very clear and a focused mind to work on that. So the next day morning when you get up, get up and freshen yourself don't skip your breakfast kindly have your full breakfast and have some sweets can boost your calories and boost your energy and your energy levels are very high then before going into the hall you can have one more bite of a sweet so that your glucose is a little high and also you will take a fresh lime juice so if you can take a fresh lime juice with a sweet then definitely it will you will feel fresh and good and hydrate yourself then go to the center once you go to the center first look for the restroom then make yourself that comfortable that's the no bladder uh, half bladder or a full bladder empty the bladder so once you have done that in your mind you know that for three and a half hours i'm not going to get anything of that so you'll be free in your mind so two important factors that could affect your exam is hypoglycemia and the full bladder kindly avoid these two avoidable and preventable factors so that on the day of the exam, exactly for the next three to three and a half hours, you are very, very peaceful physically and mentally. Then even before you open up the computer, we see the question. All that you need to do is you need to give a solid prayer to God and tell God all that I have prepared for last six months to one to two years or whatever the time I have prepared. Let all the questions come from my area of preparation. So give that prayer to God. God will definitely listen to your prayers and then he will give you the questions from your area of preparation. Go all out and make all the 150. How many questions you need to answer? You need to answer all 150 out of 150. In my experience for past 8 to 9 years, I have interviewed more than thousands and thousands of toppers. All that they have informed me is more than 99% of the questions those students have achieved and have attended and attempted they have scored the maximum and the topmost rank so don't take any chance don't make any way that you will live 15 questions 20 questions no at the maximum if you want to leave you have a tendency that only if i leave some questions i'll be satisfied then you can leave minimum of one or two questions at the maximum so the positive the correct ones have more positive the wrong ones have less negative so don't worry about the negative and miss out the positive ones so all that i want to tell you is attend the full paper and the full question and make yourself eligible for getting the maximum on the topmost score and whenever you want to answer there are certain easy questions where you will be able to answer just when you look at the question the answer will pop out you will be able to take it that you will be able to mark it now what happens is there are certain questions which have two options either a or b or b or c or d or c d a b a b a b a b so those questions what you need to do is what came first in your mind what is the first option that came in your mind that you felt it's correct and there is the the other part of my mind says it's wrong so there is a juggling happens between this option or this option or a or b or a or b kindly go for the first choice that you made most probably more than 60 percent of time the first choice is all right what you have chose to be the first or right so those you can answer that way there are certain questions where you are not able to figure out what is answer. You are not able to get what is answer of the four options. All that you need to do is excuse your brain and try to understand why I should choose one answer. If you can use a method of reasoning, if you could use a method of reasoning, why am I giving this answer? I have read somewhere. I am able to correlate somewhere. I am able to get a direct answer. I am able to get an indirect answer. I have seen this video. I have seen this notes. I have seen this patient. I have seen this clinics. I have heard somewhere. You could bring some reasoning why you want to pitch in an answer for a given answer or given question. Then that becomes the most appropriate answer in more than 90% of situation. If you answer with the reasoning, then that answer is a right answer. So this is the way you can tackle the MCQs on the day of the exam the day of the exam is very very important all that you prepare you need to go into consolidate and present on that three hours that makes a huge difference okay so for all this on behalf of the entire speed team and the faculty and the team of speed wish you all the very best and all the success 
yes for a great and a top most rank to achieve your dm or mch super speciality seat of your choice and the institution of choice as well best wishes to you kindly go ahead and you definitely win this exam we will be happy to see you winning this exam bye bye